In this video I insinuate Godzilla is a chick. Godzilla vs Kong fans, my name is Chris. We are living in a world where we have already gotten to witness the amazing Godzilla vs Kong trailer that has been setting crazy records ever since it's premiered. Not only was it the most viewed trailer by Warner Brothers, outbeating the Batman, Wonder Woman, all those trailers, it is also on track to smash some Marvel records here, setting itself to become the most liked trailer in movie history. But even with that said, Godzilla vs Kong fans right now are still heavily debating on what is the reason that Godzilla has gone evil and is attacking people all throughout that trailer that they needed to bring in good old hairy cheeks to save the day. I've done a couple of videos trying to dissect on what the possible reasons could be. Some of the popular theories are that that's not Godzilla in the trailer, that it's Mecha Godzilla in disguise, that a separate company is using some technology to control Godzilla from a distance, similar to what Monarch did with the sonar technology. But now, a new theories come up that now when I point out all these little details, it seems kind of plausible. So I'm gonna need your guys' opinions down below. We still don't know why Godzilla is going bad in this trailer, so let me know if you think this new theory has some credibility. Could you see it happening, or are you still going with Mechagodzilla in disguise? Because that's, I think, the one I hear almost every day. As well as, don't be forgetting to hit that like button. Appreciate all you guys who are purchasing a t-shirt of Harry Cheeks versus Clifford Lizard. I would wear mine, but I was kind of wearing it for a week straight, so it's starting to smell like Harry Cheeks himself, so in the washer. All right, so the theory I'm bringing up here, and uh, get ready to hold your underwear here, is that the reason Godzilla has gone bad and is attacking people, kind of flipping a 180 on his personality and everything that we've seen so far is because they have taken his baby away from him. <laughs> You didn't see that coming. Maybe you did. Now, there's a lot of things to back up this theory right here that I'm going to go ahead and bring up to you guys, but I want to start off with saying don't get all upset and angry because Godzilla fans, man, y'all want to get your atomic breaths ready, your claws out, and start attacking anybody who suggests that Godzilla might be a female. Really makes no difference at all in the world, I think, whether Godzilla or even King Kong is male or female. But putting that aside, I'm trying to just focus on the theory at hand here. One of the main clues that we were getting is Godzilla isn't necessarily just attacking anybody at random throughout the trailer you get hints that Godzilla is only specifically targeting Apex and Monarch bases throughout the trailer. So Godzilla isn't popping up and just attacking a random city, throwing down buildings for the fun of it, attacking random people. He is specifically only going after these bases that are meant to research on these giant kaijus. All throughout that billboard, all you see there is Apex facility, Monarch facility, them being baffled. So when you really start to think about it, that Godzilla is specifically targeting these bases, that means he's looking for something that only these bases would have. If we go ahead and with this theory and believe it, that Godzilla is thinking that his child, his baby Godzilla, is in one of these bases, it would make so much sense why his personality would change from putting humans as their priority to his own child as the priority. This also isn't something new. We've seen it before in the Toho films that they have made a baby Godzilla or a miniature version of Godzilla, and his first appearance was in the movie Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. And who do we think is showing up in Godzilla vs. Kong? Mecho Godzilla. It really seems like they've been taking inspiration from the older Godzilla movies and trying to implement them into our modern films. You also have the tagline that they're going ahead and saying here that one will fall. Whether we still think that's the cop out of Mecha Godzilla being the kaiju that falls, if it happens to be Godzilla in this movie, you just set up a baby Godzilla to be raised to be the next king of monsters. And you can't even be too mad about that because to main Godzilla fans, the current Godzilla that we're facing isn't even our original. Godzilla is the son of the old Godzilla and the original Godzilla had his bones shown in the 2014 movie. So this has happened before where a new Godzilla comes in once the next one is about to go away. But not even just that, how would Godzilla even go ahead and know that Monarch or Apex would be the ones to have this baby Godzilla in their custody researching or just taking care of this little Godzilla trying to raise it I guess better or most likely just going to dissect it? Well some of the abilities that Godzilla and baby Godzilla share in the older Godzilla films goes as when Godzilla last appears having sought out baby Godzilla through an unexplained psychic link which then again even makes way more sense to me because if Godzilla is constantly hearing whatever these psychic links are that his baby Godzilla is out there crying of course he would be showing up to these monarch bases 
thrashing, crashing, blowing out his atomic blast going, where is my baby? But even with that stuff, I was still just like you guys, really skeptical, thinking like, this theory doesn't seem to have all that much weight. There's already seems like there's a lot of stuff going on in Godzilla vs. Kong. Are they really going to go ahead and introduce a baby Godzilla? And then I remembered something that popped up in King of Monsters that was just kind of thrown away, and that was Monarch finds a massive egg. Now, I know, immediately, even in this article where they go ahead and put this up, they're hinting that it's the egg of Mothra who went ahead and died in the Godzilla movies, even though that's been a fan favorite. A lot of people like Mothra, would love to see him come back. They thought maybe this would be the new baby Mothra that would come and show up in other Godzilla movies. But again, if Godzilla and Mothra are these pals like they've set them up to be throughout this monster universe, it would make a lot of sense to me that when Godzilla has a baby, he's like, Mothra, I'm gonna need you to take this because these humans... They gonna snatch anything they can get their hands on. Because even further in the segue, well, it seems to obviously be hinting that this is a Mothra egg. They say right here, could a giant insect egg be a second Mothra? or something else. They even go ahead and cleverly blank out parts of the article here where it identifies its origin. Like it or not, it looks like Monarch has a baby kaiju on their hands, whether that's a Mothra or a baby Godzilla, and Godzilla seems to be looking after it, trying to find this thing, whether it's his baby or it could be Mothra's baby that's like, hey man, that's kind of like my godchild, I need him back. If this theory at all is correct, my mind just really speculates then if the introduction of baby Godzilla comes in and one will fall, which I, my money's still on Godzilla to be the one that falls. Can you imagine then a monster universe where you have hairy cheeks, King Kong, raising baby Godzilla? You wouldn't watch that? Who knows if the Monster Universe would even do something crazy like that. It would feel a lot like the Mandalorian is just Kong raising this baby Godzilla going on adventures, but that would be such a different, unique turn because how many times can you keep doing the same old thing of giant monster, human characters, cut back and forth, big fight, Movie ends. This would kind of be the great change of pace the Monster Universe could use. Especially now that they're introducing gigantic freaking robots to fight one another. We've gone past the point of talking human saw plots. If it wasn't for that callback of the giant egg that Monarch still has, who knows what is inside that egg, I would be at like a 10% that this theory is legit, but I throw in that egg right there. I'm gonna bump it up to 40. Curious to know what percentage you guys would put down. But again, guys, like I said, it's just a theory. It's just a thought. We still have no idea why Godzilla has gone bad in the trailer. And that's kind of the fun of this until we see that movie. It's just speculating and wondering to what could be happening. So if this theory made you mad, it's just a theory. But if you found it to be intriguing or a little interesting or maybe 2% plausible, go ahead and let me know down below what other things can you find to help out this theory or what things can you find to debunk this theory. I'd be happy to hear from you guys. Go ahead and list me down below from most possible to least possible out of all the theories that Godzilla vs. Kong fans have had right here. Is it Mecha Godzilla in disguise? Is it the humans using some sort of device to control Godzilla out there? This explanation really needs to nail it on the head to find out why the heck they went ahead and did this to Godzilla. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.